Mr. President, before I close today, I'd like to just switch gears for a minute and talk about judicial nominations. We've had the chance to confirm some excellent nominees so far this year, many of whom Democrats have ultimately supported. But despite this fact, Democrats have insisted on delaying the process of almost every single nomination to a district or circuit court. Well, that's pretty much the definition of partisanship. When you obstruct nominees based not on any disagreement you have with them, but simply because you don't like the person who's doing the nominating. Now, Mr. President, Democrats' delays are ultimately pretty pointless. We're not going to stop confirming nominees just because Democrats are dragging out the process. But these delays are a disservice to the American people. There are a lot of important issues the Senate needs to be debating, from spending bills to tax reform, and the time that we waste on pointless partisan exercises is time taken from those important issues. Mr. President, while Democrats' partisanship is frustrating, there's much more serious issue that has come up during these judicial confirmations, and that's the anti-religious sentiment displayed by some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle during the hearing on judicial nominee Amy Barrett's nomination, which we'll be voting on this week. Ms. Barrett's qualifications are well known. The American Bar Association, which rates judicial nominees, has given her its highest rating of well-qualified. As my colleague, the Minority Leader, has said, the Bar Association's evaluation is, and I quote, the gold standard by which judicial candidates are judged, end quote. But Mr. President, despite her judicial qualifications, it became clear in the hearing on her nomination that some of my colleagues think she should be disqualified because she is a practicing Catholic. That's right, Mr. President. Apparently, practicing your religion is now grounds for declaring you unfit to be a judge. Here's what the Constitution has to say about that. This is from Article 6, and I quote, No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Let me repeat that, Mr. President. No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. In other words, Mr. President, in the United States, you can't be disqualified from serving as a judge because you're a believing Catholic or a believing member of any faith. The only qualification the Constitution imposes is a commitment to uphold the Constitution. Yet the second-ranking Democrat in the United States Senate apparently thought it was appropriate to ask Ms. Barrett if she was a practicing member of her religion with the implication that if she was, it might jeopardize her fitness for being a judge. Mr. President, Democrats' questioning is not going to stop Ms. Barrett's nomination, but it is simply disturbing nonetheless. It is a scary thing when leaders of a major political party imply that there is no role for religious people in public life. And I don't need to tell anybody that that's contrary to everything that our founders stood for. The right to be able to practice religion freely, yes, in public too, was so fundamental to the founders' understanding of liberty that they made it the very first freedom mentioned in the Bill of Rights. People of faith have made incalculable contributions to our country, and faith has driven some of the greatest movements in American history, from the abolitionist movement to the civil rights movement. I hope the Democrat Party doesn't move further down the path of excluding religious people from public life. Mr. President, if they ever succeed in excluding people of faith from government, they will have destroyed one of the freedoms on which our country rests. Mr. President, I yield the floor.